welcome back to another Ember Sickles video. Uh, today, the new update for Animal Crossing New Horizons came out where you can now swim and dive. Uh, and I thought I would go over some of the basics and how to do it, and also just give you an update on my town. So, first of all, as you can see, I have actually improved my house. Um, I updated it, um, added space. So that was the first upgrade. Paid off my first house debt, uh, and then, then I added, uh, made my house larger. So it's still only one room, but it's bigger now. Uh, I'm just about to pay off my debt to Tom Nook for that. So there's that. Um, here you can see I have just some tables. I've customized a lot of my furniture just to make it um, fit like the vibe I'm trying to get. I have a wooden wardrobe uh, bed here, a lot of dark wood. I bought a small rug from Sahara who came to my town. Uh, I have a cute uh, do-it-yourself table and chair here. The, they're literally called uh, cute, you know. It's a certain style uh, because I felt they fit the color scheme that's going on with my bed and such. Um, I purchased the Nook Inc. Silk Rug. That was a free downloadable content on the Nintendo eShop. Uh, and then I could buy it, so I did. I have a ship and a bottle here with a special table and a log chair. Um, a wall clock with some of this. And then a clay furnace that I bought from Timmy and Tommy. Oh, and then of course a brown crown wall and then I believe imperial flooring. So there you go. I'm also wearing a dandy hat. Mabel came to my town uh, on Wednesday, I believe, and I bought 5,000 uh, bells worth of clothing from her so that when she comes on s on the weekend, I can have her make the shop. Uh, as you can see, my neighbors have moved in here. Uh, this is Celia. I like her. She's good. I have worked my way up so that I can gift her things. Um, here, I'll pull up the map here. As you, c you can see over there, Leaf is now in my town. He'll sell me shrubs and flowers. So, um, res resident services has been upgraded, there's the campsite, Nook's Cranny is there still, uh, and the museum's under construction. I'll explain these, uh, just give me a moment. So, um, you may be wondering why I'm a bit ahead. If you've seen Monday's video, uh, you're maybe wondering how I progressed so fast. I did time travel once, just because, um, because of an accident, Cube was moving into my town last, and I could not wait that long for Precious Cube to come. So I just really wanted him uh, to move into my town. So I did fast forward a bit, time travel once, just to get him in there. But then I moved back, and I don't plan on doing it again. Uh, unfortunately, today, because today um, the sea creatures were can be found, uh, my museum is under construction because Red came to my town yesterday, the fox, and sold me a piece of art. So it's it's they're adding the uh, art gallery into the museum today, which is unfortunate. So I have a giant pile up of stuff that's waiting to come. I have changed my island tune and I made a custom design as the flag. I hope you like it. It's called Rolling Colors. Leaf is here, of course. Uh, in terms of homes, we'll go back into the map. Um, as you can see, uh, Patty, who's gonna be the first one to be evicted and moved out, uh, is there. I thought that was where Cube was gonna go, but I actually do like where his house is. It's right there. And then Celie is there. Um, and Axel and Paula are still there. I do want to move my house to behind the museum in that sort of area, if you can see. But um, it's somewhat expensive, and I want to pay off my debt first. Um, let's see, I have a money tree growing here. A couple other things, you know. Most of the standard stuff, there's been a bridge built here. So, alright, moving on to the new update. And this update uh, came out today, July 3rd. And it, it lets you swim and dive into the sea from the rocks. There's a couple things you're going to want to know first before you do so, though. Um, which is that you need a wetsuit. This will be announced uh, in the morning by Isabel if you have resident services upgraded. That you will need a wet... That the waters have been investigated and they've been deemed safe to swim in. So, uh, you can buy a... Sorry. <laughs> So you can then swim in them with the proper swim gear. Nintendo will also gift you a snorkel um, for downloading the update. But you don't actually need a snorkel to swim. So that's not going to be necessary. As, and I apologize for the ugly wetsuit. If we go to redeem Nook Miles right here. You can see that um, if I go to novelties. You can buy Nook Mask Snorkel. And a Nook Inc. wetsuit. So there's a new icon for wetsuits now that you can see right there uh, on the left that will appear anytime you have bought a wetsuit. So I did actually buy that wetsuit because I thought it looked kind of nice. 
Uh, you should know, however, that if you're going to, if you're going to want to swim today, then that will be delivered tomorrow. So if you want to start swimming today, or whatever day you're watching this, uh, then you have to wait until Nook Inc. opens at 8, or sorry, um, Nook's Cranny at 8, and then you can go into the cabinet at the back of the store. Mine's not upgraded, but I believe there still is a cabinet when it's upgraded. Um, and you can see that there will be a wetsuit that you can buy. Uh, for me, it was this horizontal, I think that's what it will be for everyone, horizontal striped wetsuit. It's ugly, but it gets the job done. So I'm going to wear this until tomorrow so I can go and do everything. Now again, I apologize for not being able to show you sea creatures in my museum. I'll be doing a very short video, um, just as a little extra tomorrow to show you them in the museum. But for today, I just wanted to show you how you can get them. So first of all, I have a giant mask here because I'm waiting for Flick and CJ to come to my island now that I've updated resident services. And these are all the bugs and fish that I've already donated the species of to my museum. So I can, um, I can sell them to there. And then these are ones that I haven't donated to the museum yet because I found them today or late yesterday. <coughs> Sorry. And I was actually fortunate enough to get a whale shark this morning, which I was very excited about. Um, the only other shark I have so far is a saw shark. So that's a good development. All right, once you have your wetsuit, you can dive off of any of the rocks on your island. So you'll see there's a lot of different rock areas, pretty much anywhere, I think, that's stretching out past the beach. You can jump in and start swimming. And you'll hold A to swim fast. You can kind of waddle if you want, but it gives you, like, no distance. So you want to hold A. You cannot, if you have any um, land like you see here, my campsite, sort of, by my campsite, you can't actually get onto the ground from there. But if there's any beach, um, you can simply swim up from there. You can also go in from the beach, um, as well as the rocks. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. And then you can see, when you see this right here, oh, and by the way, when you do buy from um, Timmy and Tommy, you can actually, they will give you information about the wetsuit. For some reason, my hat isn't getting there. Um, I will explain how to do that in a minute. We've gotten a sea urchin here. Same puns as normal. Um, and also you can see there is a limit here. So there is actually, oh no. Oh no. I can't access my tools from here. Oh, okay. Um, so we're going to get out of the water while I explain how to go through the introductory process so I can get that slingshot. So we are going to dive here first though. Again, I will explain this in a minute. So when you do buy a wetsuit, Timmy and Tommy will instruct you how to dive uh, and swim. So you simply hold A to swim fast. Oh, we've got something new. I believe that when uh, you get a new thing, it will say, whoa, this is beforehand uh, to let you know that you haven't gotten it yet. Anyways, um, also, I believe that the sea creatures will be added to the, the museum. Uh, sorry, I can't think straight. Um, the aquarium or the area that the fish are in. I believe that it will be added to that one. All right. Sorry if I'm really bad at the- I- where did this slingshot go? Oh, okay, it's still there. So we're gonna wait a second. So when you do buy the wetsuit from Timmy and Tommy, they will instruct you on how to swim. So you hold A to swim, and when you want to dive, you simply press Y, and then you'll dive down there. And then you can keep holding A, uh, to continue swimming, uh, underwater. And when you actually reach something that, um, when you- Sorry, the bubbles above water will show you where, like, something is. So, like, a sea creature will be down there. We'll see what we got here. As you can see, I have... Oh, 5,000 bells. As you can see, I have actually gotten a few things. I've gotten an acorn barnacle, a sea urchin, and now the sea pineapple. So, when you're, uh, when you're swimming around underwater, and you come across the... Sorry, I can't think. Um... When you come across, oh, I missed him. Okay. When you come across, <laughs> I'm so sorry, um, the bubbles or like something underwater, it'll be moving. Once you go over it when you're underwater, so you just head over it, you'll automatically grab it and swim up to find out what it is. 
um, but you can also see the bubbles from above, so it's pretty easy to catch these sea creatures, like, it's, uh, it's much easier than, like, fish, you can't necessarily mess up, really, uh, because you're just trying to swim over them, so as you can see, like, there's bubbles up there, so I'm gonna dive down, and then I can actually see and swim over it, uh, like that, and then I'll grab it and come up, so I'm not pressing any button to come up, I just am, there's some sea grapes, nice, and then when you are, uh, you can see the Critterpedia here has added an octopus. Um, my, the rest of my progression is coming along quite nicely for the museum. Um, got the fish here too. But the sea creatures, there's much less, there's not as many of them, by far, uh, as there are. Oh, and we can see these are, most of these are available, um, some of these are available year-round. So, like, they'll be available in April or May, uh, especially these. So, not all of these are going to be available only in summer, which is nice. So there's still a lot of them to find, but I believe not nearly as many as there are insects and fish, as you can see here. Um, we're going to keep swimming around a bit. Uh, I do know that there's a... Gulliver has a new costume in this update as well. He looks like a pirate now, which is cool. Gulliver was actually the first special visitor to my island, I remember. Um, let's see. What, what, what happened? Okay. There we go, we got some some more sea grapes. I don't know how much these are going to sell for. Um, I think it'd be cool if they added a new special visitor like a CJ or Flick to buy sea creatures from you for extra money. Um, for 150%, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. So there is a barrier that prevents you from going out too far. Um, I've been told that there's a mermaid, you know, supposedly. You know, Nintendo has informed us that there is. I, oh, you can also dive for only a limited time, I believe. I'm looking at this. Just figuring this out now, but yeah, you run out of breath, I think. So you eventually have to surface. Oh, wow. That's, um... <laughs> the puns are amazing. So I am trying to find Pascal, who is supposedly... Why is there an... There's an island in the distance, so that's cool. He's supposedly... He's um, an, a sea otter, I believe. And there's this whole thing that's, I think, somewhat similar to Bunny Day. Where, um... Oh, also, if you run close to fish, you, um, actually scare them away. Sorry about that. I just wanted to add in something. Uh, I believe if you find seashells, then Pascal will come and buy them from you, which is cool. Uh, I want to find him. And then Gulliver has a new pirate costume, as I've said, um, here. There's also new achievements that are actually unlocked, uh, in Nook Miles. Like, deep dive and underwater understudy. So, oh, sorry. So... So this one wants you to put on your... So yeah, you're just trying to collect different sea creatures, uh, I believe. Yeah, and then for this one, it's filling out your Critterpedia. The other one is just diving, I believe, but uh, we shall see. And then Critterpedia, I'm wondering if stuff like seaweed is actually going to... Okay, so it does. So uh, essentially anything you find except, um, except seashells, I assume, <laughs> is going to count towards your Critterpedia. And be able to be donated to the museum. Ooh, a sea anemone. Sea anemone. <laughs> we got some strange rock formations here. There's so all of it is not um just normal ground, I guess. We're gonna try we're gonna see if we can find some um some seashells because I wanna have um Pascal come and find out what he can do. Because supposedly there's mermaid recipes. Or, like, sort of mermaid stuff that you can do. Um, but we need to find some seashells first. So, as yeah, as I said before, you don't actually need a snorkel to dive. I don't think it serves necessarily any purpose, and that it's just cosmetic. But it's still cool. So, yeah, it's fairly easy to catch these. I'm getting a lot, like, immediately. Ooh, an octopus. Cool. Yeah, so as you can see, like, I'm already a good way through, honestly, um, in terms of sea creatures. But I do assume some of these will only be available at winter, um, for these. So, uh, you know, if it's anything like the other ones. I thought there was one over here. Yeah. Pascal seems to come from over the net, so past the boundaries. Uh, oh, we're in the very corner, um, that you would normally find. Oh, it's the other way. Oh, it's also very hard to turn around, I'm seeing now. Come on, give us a seashell. Oh, another one. Okay. 
I'm gonna check how much these uh, sell for actually later in the video too. But okay. It looks like we might not be able to find him honestly right now. So I think we're gonna head back and see how much you can actually sell these for uh, if we ever get back. So you can dive at pretty much any point, but I'd recommend diving, you know, near these guys. Spotted garden eagle. Um, I'm wondering if Pascal is for a special event or if it's just going to be a continued thing. So I don't know if it's going to be like Bunny Day or just something that you can kind of always do. Are we going to be able to? Can you swim up on these? You can't. Okay. Is there. No, there's no beach here. Um. Okay. You can probably call the rescue service to come and bring you to the island, uh, I would guess. But I don't want to waste any nook miles on that, so. I know there's something back there, but I just, uh, I want to get back. Um, I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. So it looks like, yeah, there is a beach here. So I think for a lot of you, some sides of your island, you won't be able to get back on. So if we look at the map here, um, like you can see all of mine. I bet you can climb up on the secret beach, actually. But um, other than that, you can see that my backside is of the island has no beach, which I think is true for most people. Um, yeah, so, okay. We are going to need a pole vault. There we go. So yeah, the museum is under construction. I'll do a short video tomorrow uh, showing you guys what I have then. Got a lot of money trees growing around here. Sorry, I do have joy con drift, so sometimes it takes a minute to actually get where I'm trying to go. Um, there we go. We've got a diving beetle on the right over there. I've donated all of the creatures I've found to my museum so far, except for the sea snail, which I threw away after I found it. Or just the snail, I think, I don't know. So yeah, the iron, I've made a lot of money off of the iron garden table because I had a ton of iron nuggets stocked up and I just made like a ton of them because they each sold for like 7,500 uh, bells because they were the hot item and they are today too actually. So I made a ton of money off of that um, just doing, going through and doing that. So that was cool. Sorry, just adjusting the camera a bit. Uh, yes, I want to sell. I just want to see how much some of these uh, sell for. I don't know what's more rare yet because um, a lot of people aren't there. I'm thinking maybe ones that aren't available all the time. So maybe the acorn barnacle. I found a lot of the acorn barnacles though, so it's probably not valuable. We're just going to check them kind of one at a time. Okay, so that's like... Oh, no, I didn't... Okay, you know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Because there's no special villager who buys them yet, I don't think. Unless Pascal is that villager, but I don't think he is. Um, it's okay. I had another acorn barnacle, but, um, so that's 600, so not a lot, but, uh, a good amount. Let's see what the sea, no, I want to see what the sea pine, no. Yeah, let's, okay, I went out, sorry. Okay, um, we'll ask Timmy, come on. Sorry. Um, okay, we're gonna sell. Let's see, because I think some of the most rare ones I got were like the, um, we'll do the spotted garden eel. That seems like it would be a rare thing. Um, hopefully I don't sell it by accident. Okay, so some of these can be like, um, pretty good prices, like a thousand bells or so. Uh, it seems like. But I would, I'm gonna wait at least for me, uh, to see if they add in a special villager. I have a feeling they might in the August update, because that said summer update number two, so they, I'm thinking they might do that, if Pascal is in fact not uh, the one who does that. So anyways, uh, with that, I think that'll be the end of this video for now. Um, have a good day. I hope you enjoyed it. And have a good July 4th.